Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Jaquel, the world's worst YouTuber. Can I do that again? Let's try that again. Shakazing! Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Jaquel, the world's worst YouTuber, coming to you today with the anticlimactic reboot of the Orc Logs. In one of my most recent videos, the uh, beta testing for the Orc Vlog, I wound up talking about the Orc Logs quite a bit. So that wound up uh, inspiring me to go back through my Orc Logs and rewatch them. And I gotta say, the first two were incredibly painful to sit down and watch. Like, I honestly did not even recognize myself watching the first two, especially the first one. And they were just demonstrably painful and a little cringe. But I got through those two pieces of shit. Started with the third one, that one got better. The fourth and the fourth and fifth one though, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden something just clicked and I'm like, oh my god, these are fucking hilarious. I'm making myself laugh. And I don't know if that's something that's going to translate to others because at that point in my YouTube career, I was making content that I wanted to make and that I enjoyed watching. So I don't know if those are going to be nearly as funny to anybody else as they are for me, but oh my god. Now, I do still want to do a more regular vlog series, so I'm just sitting down and like talking and bringing the camera like, follow me around, guys! <laughs> because in the past, any time that I have done that, it was just a fun experience for me. But going back over the orc logs... I realized how much fun I had making those because it's kind of the same thing where I'm just sitting here in front of the camera just talking about what's going on in my life and trying to help others to laugh at my pain. With that being said, here's the reboot of the Orc Logs because it feels weird trying to pick up where I left off, again, since it has been so long. And I just want to start fresh now that I have like a routine, I know more what I'm coming to this with now, what I want to demonstrate and portray in these things, so let's just clear the slate, those will be there and exist, starting over fresh, now that I know what I'm getting into with these. With all of that being said, there's a lot I want to get to today, starting with TikTok fucking sucks. And now, in no way, shape, or form is this reflective of the people. I know that on YouTube, there is a lot of TikTok hate. And since I have gotten most of my following from my time on TikTok, I am not one of those people. I don't want to be one of those people. I am talking more about the algorithm and the system that is set up around TikTok. The bureaucratic hierarchies, the higher echelon of TikTok fucking sucks. Recently, I made a second account, JustKel2.0, that way it could be more of a personal account, spam account, just goofing off, doing whatever, and bringing some more of that energy that I brought to social media on YouTube, but doing it in sort of like small form thoughts here and there. But just this morning, I uploaded one, and um, I'm going to show it to you guys real quick. Hang on, let's see that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my second account. Here, you might see more of the chaotic side of myself. This is where I'll be asking personal questions to myself, such as, Why have I been eating so much recently? Is it A, a trauma response, because I've been feeling all kinds of old bad feelings? B, is it a headmate helping me combat my eating disorder? C, is it second puberty? Or D, is it hormone irregularity, because I keep forgetting to take my hormones? Questions like this will be asked all the time, and there will never be any answer because I will never know for certain. Take care and much love. Th there's nothing menacing about that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm being goofy. I'm being chaotic. Talking about trauma. But I said something about having an eating disorder. This account, the Jessica 2.0 on TikTok, is brand new, fresh. And that video granted me my first community guidelines violation. Are you fucking kidding me? However, that is not to say that I don't understand that there is a problem with glorifying eating disorders. I'm talking about this just now, and my girlfriend is in the background, and she wound up telling me that... What was it? There was a person that was glorifying anorexia, basically saying it's... Uh, Not an illness, it's a way of life. It's not an illness, it's a way of life. So I understand that this kind of thing is there, but when she went to go report it, it that didn't violate guidelines. 
What the hell is going, the, the system is broken. And that's not to say that YouTube is better. I remember a time when people were uproariously revolting against the, um, the YouTube hierarchs, if you will. It wasn't that long ago, and I wound up coming to YouTube right at the height of all of that, during all of the uh, chaos, talking about Logan Paul, Jake Paul, uh, the... <laughs> I remember the Logan Paul scandal. I remember when they went to Aoki Gahara. Did I say that right? Probably not. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I was there. In the very early infancy of this channel, I was witnessing that. So it's not to say that YouTube doesn't, is it, it's not to say that YouTube is without its complaints. But TikTok has bred a climate within their censorship where people are, people that left YouTube to go to TikTok are now coming back to YouTube because YouTube, after all of the complaints, is still a better option than TikTok. But maybe this is also just my sign to just start focusing on YouTube more. I don't know how many times I would just sit there and be like, when is life going to let me just focus on YouTube? And now I have manifested that for myself. So I can just sort of tunnel vision back into YouTube. Or at least that is what I'm going to tell myself so I feel better about this. Instead of just sitting here stewing in my own fumes of frustration. Because trust me, that shit frustrated me. But that's enough of the gossipy social media chit chat. Remember, here is not where we spill the tea, it is where we sip the coffee. And this was coffee sipping, not tea spilling. And before I start burning myself with somebody else's scalding hot tea, let's move on. So I've been doing this thing recently where I've been going down memory lane quite a bit. And part of that is to sort of reclaim myself and remind myself of who I am other than being a spiritual witchy person. Now, if you are following me on my TikTok, my main witchy account on TikTok, I've been talking about this, doing this for a while. All the way back in the summer, I think it was like early September, I actually was saying that I was going to do this more because I was frustrated with TikTok's algorithm then. But I became hyper fixated and kept moving forward. But with the new year, I realized I was just tired of being stuck in the same trenches, going through life, being stuck in the same routine. And I just wanted to remind myself of the things that I was before I became all consumed by the spiritual stuff. That is a large part of why I actually haven't been uploading here. There is something about witchcraft and magic that it just becomes all-encompassing. And that is fine. That is A-OK. -okay. But a lot of people, myself included, obviously, have a hard time finding a line between the witchy stuff and the personal stuff. But part of that is because practicing any type of magic, practicing any type of paganism or anything like that, winds up becoming all-consuming because you got to do the research. you got to get into it. And people are interested for a reason. So you crave the information. You want to learn all that you can so you know that you're doing it right. But it didn't stop for me for, like, mm, two years straight. It's time to unplug and just come back to the things that made me happy before that. The problem is I kind of forgot what those things are. And you want to know who's been helping with me with that a lot? Dahlia. Hi. For those of you who aren't aware by now, I talk about it in almost every video. I am the host of a DID system, and I am not the original host of this system. That title belongs to Dahlia. I have only been the host for about four years at this point, five years. So if I am remembering correctly, the host switch took place in uh, December of 2016. So since then, I was the former protector. So all of those memories before then are when Dahlia was the host. That being said, it doesn't mean that I wasn't there or present in the like teen formative years when she was really becoming who she is during middle school and high school and all of that. But a lot of those things, she just remembers better than I do. So spending time with her, her being like right here in headspace, right next to me the entire time. Long story short, she's been helping me remember and go back over a lot of the things from that time period, like high school. I graduated in like 2011, 2012, something like that. 
god, I'm fucking old. That just clicked for me. So we've just been going down memory lane. And one of the main gateways to that is music. She's sitting in Headspace. We're going to listen to old music. Old music like Ghost? Older. Older? You mean like Slipknot? Older. Ah, you mean like a a Atreyu? There you go. Now you're picking up on what I mean. So let's go back to, oh God, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is supposed to be for a bit. And now this is just dysphoria. Do I have a different shirt? Ah, Slipknot. Slipknot has never failed me. Let's go. So let's take it all the way back to like eighth grade. Throughout eighth grade and most of freshman year of high school, our personal big three was a Treyu, Avenged Sevenfold, and Bullet for My Valentine. Yeah, we were those kids. <laughs> our style was definitely the band t-shirt, sleeves cut off, boot cut jeans, and the big clunky DCs. We were one bad day away from listening to a Trivium album, buying a leather jacket that didn't fit, and a fedora. We were one bad day away. <laughs> so long story short, I have been spending a lot of time listening to those bands. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold, Bullet from a Valentine, and Atreyu. Oh, the memories. Holy sh- There are sh things that I forgot about. There are things that I didn't know were still in this brain. There were things that I just- Long story short, I forgot it existed. Right. This is how DID functions. It makes you forget things, even those things you thought were trivial. I said trivial, not trivium. <laughs> that was, I was supposed to be like blank face. I just couldn't. Also, I don't know the last time that I played my guitar. Hang on, let me pull this out real quick. This is going to take a lot longer than, hang on. I'm just, pause. My beautiful hand-me-down, lightly used Squire Telecaster. Now, I wind up thanking my dad for the reason why I like Telecasters, because he had a Telecaster, and it just felt good to play, even though it was old and definitely needed new pickups. Oh, there we go. Long story short, if you would have asked me 10 years ago what my favorite guitar I've ever played would have been, I would have told you it was my Fernandez Ravel. Not this thing, but I love it. I don't care that it's a hand-me-down, beat up. I keep saying hand-me-down, it's used. Nobody handed it down to me. I still, it was... I must... There are words here, they're not coming out. Hang on. I don't know the last time I actually sat down and consistently, regularly played my guitar for like a genuine practice. I have definitely gotten rusty over the years. Part of that is I became a parent. Now, in no way, shape, or form is that a slight against my kid. I love him, and I, since that is the reason, I wouldn't have changed it for any reason other than wishing that I have had more time to practice and to play. That's just not what life handed me. As you know, there are times that I have been able to pick up the guitar and play while he was in the room, but he always comes over and he also wants to play, and that's fine. I don't mind playing with him, but now I'm, this is playtime with my kid now, not practicing my guitar. I'm realizing that I said the same exact thing in which orc log was it? The seventh one? I want to say, I want to say that the sixth or seventh orc log. I've said some of this stuff before. I'm sitting here realizing just how much footage I actually have going into this particular orc log. It's been all over the place. And I also know that I have a habit of not cutting anything from film to edit. It's going to be going to be long, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be long. Oh, well. I would not be myself if I were not the person who has something to say about everything. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I talk at great lengths, whether you want me to or not. And that's why I do YouTube. Oh right, I was gonna talk about Dahlia more. 
Dahlia is fucking amazing. She is, I don't talk about Dahlia nearly enough, so I'm about to fix that. <laughs> I don't know how to describe Dahlia. She is chaotic, nearly feral, but not in a bad way. That's our girlfriend <laughs> saying that she agrees. <laughs> Dahlia is chaotic, nearly feral, sometimes outright feral, but that's not in a bad way. It's just the type of chaos that she exudes is fun. Sometimes it's just jokes. Sometimes it's just a constant stream of just random ADHD interjections that come out of her mouth. And I cannot say that this doesn't happen to me because it happens to me all the time. But for her, it's almost nonstop. And instead of trying to fight that, she rides the wave. Back when Dahlia was the host, the friends that she had around her, the people that she knew and interacted with had two opinions of her, love her to death or hate her fucking guts. I don't know why, because everybody was witnessing the same damn thing. It just depends on how you perceive the chaos that is coming out of Dahlia. And with all of that being said, she is absolutely the perfect person to be on this personal adventure with. Because not only am I remembering who I was then and remembering the things that I used to enjoy, she is also remembering the things that she used to enjoy. In many ways, this is kind of an adventure for both of us. Because when the host switch happened back in the end of 2016, we both kind of forgot who we were. Because suddenly she was there, but I was here. And she and I both just kind of assumed that I was the host. That just wasn't the case. So over the course of the last year, it was about a year that I realized, oh, holy crap, I'm Darren. Since that realization, it has been an adventure for both of us because we've both been going down memory lane and reclaiming the things that were us. And over the process of it, she's become my very best friend. And I know this is counter... For many systems, that's not how things work. For many systems, there are a lot of headmates and alters that actually don't get along. I am very blessed and very privileged in the fact that I actually get along with all of my headmates. I am also very blessed and very privileged that there's only four of us at the current moment. With that being said, do not let this be a representation of other systems or how other systems behave. Some of us, we do get along. Others, that's not the, that's not the luxury that some systems have. You should have seen me and Dahlia when she was the host in high school and I wasn't me. I was a fucking asshole. I was not a good person. And I'm not going to try and convince people that I'm a good person now, but I'm at least better than I was. Long story short, this is the adventure that I'm on, and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of content that's show and tell, or going down memory lane, or story time vlogs, where I'm sitting down and telling you guys about this thing that happened eons ago. And let's just assume that Dahlia is going to be right here the entire time, like she has been this entire video, because she hasn't left my side. And for that, I am extremely grateful for her, and I cannot thank her enough. On that note, I have definitely run out of time for this video. I've gone on long enough. I've got shit to do. I got shit to do today. And on that note, take care. Much love. Peace out. Namaste. And goodbye.